Okay. <coughs> so, uh, Jean-Pascal te dit, non, moi c'est Gina Cyril la fleur, m'te fait en Haïti. Moi te vine aux États-Unis, l'em te 4 ans. Um, depuis m'te j'aime, te gen une grosse fascination avec la uh, technologie. Uh, m'te attendé en l'école uh, pendant m'te na high school, qui te gen un programme qui aide ti moun apprend comment kom, pour nous uh, code, comment pour nous uh, bâti tout qui été uh, robot et système. Um, l'em te appliqué pour college, m'te connaît, m'te vle m'te vle continuer euh dans 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 un dans un programme informatique dans un programme technologie m'te commencé college avec engineering euh computer engineering m'te pour un classe qui pour physics m'pas ka passer physics pendant m't'a fait engineer m'te pour un stage euh un stage for computer science euh m't'a fait software engineer m't'a remé ça m't'a fait pendant stage là so me changer programme pour me faire computer science euh pendant m't'a fait pour computer science m't'a gagné un autre stage que m't'a travaillé avec euh et team euh une équipe donnée une équipe donnée scientifique et pendant m't'a m't'a remé ça m't'a fait là me changer programme encore pour me dire OK dernier dernier année pendant m't'a dans collège me changer programme pour me dire OK m'a fait information technology parce que m'te voulait continuer à apprendre toute par information database sur database management. Euh uh, l'aime te fini euh uh, collège m'ta ai pour un masters moi m'a continuer à uh, m'a continuer avec programme information and yeah memory là. So ma 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 parle comment c'est parler en anglais qu'on y a parce qu'il y a des mots pas cadé en créole so ma comment c'est parler en anglais. All right. Um, I started my career in business intelligence. Business intelligence is when you make a uh, development reporting for companies. After I did business intelligence, I went into project management, um, and then I started with data architecture. Then transfer to data engineer in Konya. I'm saying lead data engineer with Konya. I'm traveling with Konya. So I started as a developer dans intelligence de business intelligence commerciale et mm -hmm. à travers job ça il vient augmenter il vient joindre en promotion pour venir joindre data engineer et puis de data engineer il vient data et architecte de données c'est c'est lui qui crée ce gros système pour business yo, y compris tout et, et, et développement de niveau intelligence dans business surtout et c'est là que les actuellement ils sont et, et senior Développeur de systèmes d'intelligence de business. Yep. Okay. So we're going to start with uh, what is data analytics. Um, now we're going to talk what is data analytics, the life cycles, sell cafe avec data analytics, and tools and applications. So data analytics, when you're talking about data analytics, we're going to think about data as facts. Facts is information. When you process that facts, the results of it is what you get when you do data analytics. Data analytics is a huge umbrella. There's so many things that fall under it. And it's very simple. It's really processing information. That is what data analytics is. Alors, qui ça que analyse données? C'est joint faire. OK? Alors, c'est pas donner aucun important, c'est faire aucun important pour un business. Et c'est ça vraiment que l'on fait avec on analyse de données, c'est pour joindre tout fait qui concerne un business. OK. Uh, for us to start with data analytical process, we have to start with collecting information. Wapwela, you do collect, you have to collect the information. After you collect the information, you have to process it. Let me process, it's uh, cleaning the data, uh, checking to make sure you have facts and real information, you're removing duplicates. Uh, you can translate what I just said. Yeah, alors nous, nous commençons avec collection de données. Et puis après collection, ça nous fait ce triage d'informations, un triage de données. Parce qu'il y a des données qui ne sont pas bonnes, qui ne concernent pas le travail qu'on a fait. Alors, il est très important pour laguer ça qui pas important et puis qu'il y ait ça qui bon pour analyser. OK, perfect. Uh, when we finish that, we have to validate it. Validating the data is um, talking with your business users or the person you're working with to make sure the information we're presenting is correct. Then we um, apply it. 
applied is creating reports or using the data and the, the application is supposed to be used in. And then after that, we go back, you start over, you collect new information, you use what you currently have and clean, cleanse that data, and it's just a continual circle. Alors, c'est après que nous fin trier données, nous avons besoin de valider que ça crée bon. Et validation, ça l'est fait avec, et avec responsable business qui te m'a défait analyse là, ok, dès le départ. Là, yo même, nous tous nous d'accord avec données qui crée yo, les faits, c'est là ça nous appliquer et on, on nouveau processus ou bien application et après application nous recommencer nous collecter données encore. Perfect. Perfect. Merci. Okay. So now we get into career paths. I said j'aime te dire uh, bonne again please yep au café dans données analyse. Uh, with data analyst you can say um, I'm actually going to go back. You could think of every single point of this cycle as a job. Each job has the different things that you want to do, right? You start, you could do data analysts. Data analyst is collecting the information, making sure you talk to the business and get the information that you need. Data engineering is when you, um, data engineering is when you're processing the information and you're analyzing the information, you're building the systems for that information. Uh, you can do project management. They oversee the entire project that you're working on. So. Again, please, yeah, bio cafe under the data uh, analytics umbrella. Each part of this process is pretty much its own job. Alors, na on career de données, na sa career de données, c'est chaque point na cercle ça, c'est comme un job lié. Comme par exemple, ou gagner on et analyste données, les mêmes ni pas collecter données. Et c'est lui qui travaille avec différents stakeholders dans le business pour connaître qui ça a besoin et collecter pour trier pour bail ingénieur. Maintenant, analyse avec création et validation, création système. Là, tout ça, c'est rapport avec data engineer, l'ingénieur de données, mm -hmm. et, etc., etc. Chaque point a un propre job. Parle. Alors, il y a plusieurs façons de créer une carrière dans l'analyse de données. Mm -hmm. Uh, here's different type of examples that why we need infer why we need data science and data analytics. We need it to improve decision making. Um, when we say improve decision making, when we collect the information, we learn new trends and new information that we did not even know. It could help us make information for the future. Sales forecasting. Sales forecasting is very similar. Ooh. One second. Okay, sales forecasting is very similar. It's um, using that information, using the data to figure out how much money you're going to make in the future. So it's using information of, to forecast what's going to happen later. Uh, you can go with that. Okay, alors nous avons plusieurs différents genres que nous avons appliqué analyse données. Et premièrement, nous capable aider, ça capable aider nous avec en prise de décision. Et là, nous faire analyse de données, ça permet nous apprendre nos bagages, nous pas de gain tant qu'on est, genre mm -hmm. que business soit fonctionné. Mm -hmm. On l'autre genre que nous avons appliqué analyse de données, c'est pour et nous capable prévoir différents prix dans le marché, à, nous capable de faire et des de, de, de analyses sur le marché pour voir qui ça qui existait, qui opportunité gagnait, etc. Mm -hmm. Um, others you can do is marketing. When you're marketing, you have to get uh, data to understand who is using your products, who is, who is watching your videos. That way you can cater your information better for the people that are looking into it. Many different things you can do with information. It's so important to understand your information, understand your, your, your business and stakeholders to keep moving and growing for the future. Un autre bel exemple de gens qui nous ont appliqué l'analyse de données, c'est spécialement dans le marketing. Parce que dans le marketing, là, et là nous analyser qui est-ce qui a suivi, qui est-ce qui a acheté le produit ou pour, pour, pour vendre. Et ça, ça va permettre de connaître exactement qui gens pour optimiser le service ou bien le produit que vous avez pour le client pour être capable de joindre plus de clients encore. OK. Yes. OK. All right. So now we get into tools. 
there's many tools for um, data analytics. Uh, if we want to talk about programming tools, some of the big ones today is SQL, SQL development, Python, um, and R. R is really for data, data science, which um, R is a lot more for data science, but you have SQL and Python. For business intelligence, we have Tableau, uh, Power BI, we have uh, Cognos, and another one. These are the big ones, Sysense. For um, data management, I forgot to add, because I spoke to you, we're talking about Excel. You know, we can use Excel. We have SQL Server, Oracle, and Snowflake. There's so many different applications out there, so many things you can do in this field and tools to can learn. Alors, en parlant de outils, rapidement, nous avons différents types de outils que nous avons utilisés pour faire des analyses de données. Dans la programmation, nous avons SQL pour les gens qui connaissent MySQL, nous avons R, nous avons Python. Mm -hmm. Et dans l'analyse de l'intelligence business, l'intelligence commerciale, le renseignement commercial, Jean Vlewell, nous avons Tableau et, mm -hmm. et Power BI, qui sont deux outils extrêmement et populaires actuellement mm -hmm. avec Cognos. Et dans la gestion de base de données, nous avons Excel et pas sur l'islam, mais c'est très commun. En plus, nous avons utilisé Excel, SQL Server ou Oracle Snowflake. Et okay. ça, c'est des exemples des outils que nous avons utilisés pour faire et pour faire analyse de données. And last one is the ETL. ETL, when we're talking about uh, cleaning the data, processing it, making sure it's ready to use, the tools we use for that would be um, I, the thing is in the way. There you go. Microsoft, um, you could say Microsoft SSIS, Snowflake, and uh, another tool called Domo. Alors, et finalement, gagner quelques autres outils que nous avons utilisés pour faire le triage pour, pour les données, c'est MSSSIS, Snowflake avec Domo. OK, perfect. Um, right now, that's pretty much the conclusion. Data, I, I, I want to really say, moi, the data, Data analyst is very important, especially um, when you are working in a business, is just understanding your information. If you don't understand your information, it's very hard to continue and growing. Mm. Right, yeah, that's true. So yeah. right, without understanding what you're working with, it's, it's basically guess and check every yeah. step of the way. Exactly, exactly. So if, and guessing is not good, you could think you're doing great, but then, at the end right. of it, everything falls apart, but you never knew because you couldn't have that information to verify that you're, you're actually doing everything exactly as expected. That's so interesting. And I, I know that this is kind of like a seamless move into our conversation as the presentation is over. Yeah. So if you don't mind, you would close the, um, the presentation so that we could start the conversation part of the show. The, you know, in, I've found that it's very common for a lot of businesses when they, when they make mistakes with they're not tracking their data, if they're not doing data management and data science, if something were to go wrong, they'll say, well, how can everything go wrong? And they'll be blaming other mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. when had they just tried to collect as much data mm -hmm. as possible and mm -hmm. analyze what is actually going on, they could have avoided a lot of issues. Yep, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah. So it's almost like uh, the scientific process, basically, yes. but for businesses. And that's why I showed you the, the circle, because it is the scientific mm. process. Collecting, mm -hmm. collecting your information, you have to have an idea of what you're looking for. Collect mm -hmm. the information mm -hmm. about that idea, mm -hmm. process it, apply it, and then, then you get the results, and from the results, you start over again. So it is a full round circle. It, it's everything is kind of related to the scientific process. And what I say is just is very important, especially working in this field, to make sure you have an idea of what you're working on and the, the use case for it. Yes, absolutely. Alors, c'est vraiment ça. C'est tout, toute l'idée dans la gestion de données, dans l'analyse de données, dans la science de données, c'est que ces processus scientifiques-là mènent au business. Alors, ce n'est pas comme si nous avons joué avec des, des produits chimiques. Là, les produits chimiques, nous, c'est des données que nous avons de business. Nous. Jean a fonctionné. Mm -hmm. Et c'est là que Mme Jean a vraiment expliqué que c'est tellement important pour collecter des données. Premièrement, une hypothèse de ce qui a passé dans le business. Hein? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Et puis à partir de l'hypothèse, ça, ça va le permettre de nous connaître. OK, on a derrière chercher qui donner. Maintenant, tout le processus va continuer. That's, that's really, that's, that's a, a, a click there mm-hmm. that leads to a whole different type of management in a business. Yeah. Huh? Once, once you learn that, it opens mm-hmm. a lot of doors of what you can do. And when I talk about my career, that's what always helped me identify like the route I wanted to go to get to where I am today. Right. So I'll jump right into that. Mm-hmm. And these are the questions right here. Is, um, in the, when you were little, did you ever think that you were going to be a data scientist? No, I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> college. Um, it was a business intelligence developer. manager, manager. business intelligence developer. manager, manager, director. And business intelligences. But no, I never knew. Wow. So then how did you, how did you navigate? How did you navigate the different steps in I your career? I think the pro, I, I always tell, especially the young kids, take internships. Mm. Take as many internships as you can. I got fortunate enough to do an internship every year. Chaque fois I'm point stage, ma point on by different kids, I'm the point point for you know? The first time I took it was, I did it in engineering. It was software engineering. And I, I didn't like programming. <laughs> I wow. just, I tried it. I could do it. I don't, I don't love it. And then I took another internship where I was working with a database management team and we are building the systems and we're using a lot of Python and SQL. And I fell in love with it. That's why I kept changing my major. Wow. That's the best part for me. wow, wow, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. But, Comment faire mais qui différence à Python pour faire mathématiques, analyse données et programmation? I don't know. I think it's just a click. It's just it's a, a click. different. It, yeah, it, the programming is different, right? Parce que mm. so I fait programming software. You're doing C Java, very right. different. When you're doing programming data, you're it's a different level. You're doing Python's and the SQL. I don't know. It, it clicks. Right. It's just easier for me to understand it. So that's how. Very interesting. Yeah. Alors pour tout le monde qui peut être dans programmation, sous pareil mais quand il y a où, vinn sorte vinn joindre nous dans bateau. D'accord. Yeah, yeah. That's really good advice about the internship. Stage est extrêmement important. Mm-hmm. Et si nous avons des opportunités, cherchez opportunité d'ailleurs. Pas attendre pour joindre, à le chercher. Exactly. I cherche because if you're going to companies don't ask you, you have to look for it. You have to mm-hmm. ask and mm-hmm. a lot of times yeah. i took free internships too there's yeah. a lot of people that d- wants to get paid immediately it's some, not everyone can pay so i took a lot of free internships and that's where i really learned mm-hmm. and honed my area of where i was good in wow nice and i know that we we started having a, a short conversation before the show started but uh it's you are a haitian black woman Mm-hmm. in the tech business oh, in the yeah. United States of America. That, you are a minority of a minority of a minority. Yeah, in, yeah. In a very challenging industry. How, how is that? I think the biggest thing is make sure you have confidence in yourself. Make sure you mm. understand where you're coming from. And you, you have to have the confidence in yourself. Because coming into this field, I will say, every job that I have taken, I have been the only Black, the only black woman and many mm. of them, I'm the only black person. Actually, <laughs> my, wow. my current role, um, there's four black people on my entire floor. Oh so my it's, it's challenging, but I will say if you have, you have, you have to have faith in yourself because it can, it can make you nervous. It can make you overwhelmed. But I know myself. I know I'm good at my job. You can't tell mm. me I'm bad at it. Right. you know <laughs> so, nice. yeah that's very interesting i i guess i can imagine that it would be a challenge but if you have that confidence and you're producing good work no one can tell you anything yeah. and that's the thing you have to have confidence in what you're doing because mm. it, it can get very overwhelming but mm. yeah definitely i mean my my job right now 
<clears throat> excuse me, um, a senior engineer. And it's very, you, you don't see senior engineers, especially black women, senior engineers in the field wow. of data very much, right? It's, it's not really common. When I first got the job, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was scared, like, because I'm the youngest too. <laughs> so, oh, wow. And I was just like, you guys are hiring me. But after I really learned and learned everybody, I, I understood why I got hired and I understood the reason why. And you just have to, again, mm -hmm. you, you, the confidence is very important when you're working in, in, in the tech industry, especially as a minority. So. Oui, alors du fait que Madame Gina son, son minorité parce que son femme est les noirs et la travail dans l'industrie tech aux États-Unis, au pays blanc. Alors c'est minorité sous minorité sous minorité. Et oui, il y a des défis, oui, des difficiles parfois. Cependant, de vous gagner confiance dans la tête et que vous produit, ok, ou bien mm -hmm. C'est ça qui est important. Parce que yep. depuis que vous gagnez confiance dans la tête ou bien c'est ça qui est important. Vous avancez quand même. Yeah. Et yeah. alors, pour tout le monde qui attendait spécialement pour, pour, pour mesdames yo, qui a pu suivre nous sur le deuxième épisode par les techs, hein, songez ça à Gina, c'est partagé avec nous. Quoi dans tête ou vencer avec un pile fougue, avec un pile l'espoir. Les so, yeah, and I, 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 for the women, I, I really want to tell them it's not hard. It's really <laughs> not hard. That's, that's always the first thing everyone tells me. Is it hard? No. If you, if you know this is something you're interested in, you're going to figure out a way, right? I say, right. I say there's people who want to be doctors. Being a doctor is hard. But they know they want to do it, they figure out a way. This, mm -hmm. you're always going to find challenges, but as long as you really enjoy it, it's not difficult. Um, it's just making sure you have the confidence level and making sure you're just, you, you're good with it. Mm -hmm. so, alors, pour tout le monde, mesdames et en particulier, ce travail n'est pas difficile. C'est le fort de pourquoi on a tout et on continue à faire. Même je gagne gain docteur même j'ai gain gain avocat yo même yo quoi dans tête yo yo fait ça ou veut faire sou veut faire les rien mais soit faire continuer faire et puis on va avancer yeah um i guess in that line we the i don't know if you knew the statistic or not but uh, more than 50% of the haitian population is under the age of 30 right mm -hmm. we have a very 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 young population over here um, and so we're really trying to uh, capture the attention and, the, and inspire the youth here because data, data science is one of those industries that can make a huge impact, mm -hmm. right? So what, if, what would you say to, to young Haitians and especially young women who are tentative um, but are thinking about jumping into a data science career path? Especially, I mean, considering as well that there's not so much technology in Haiti, what would you have to say with your experience in the, in the industry already? Uh, any advice to young Haitians trying to jump in? Mm -hmm. So I'll say with my background, um, <laughs> I, I, I didn't grow up the richest. I was always interested in technology. Sometimes I would go to the library if, you know, and try to find books just so I can read and, and read the information I wanted to learn because I didn't mm -hmm. have the means that much growing up. But um, just go for it. There's nothing stopping you. <laughs> I mean, that's the biggest thing. One of the questions I just, I read, uh, Rudolph Jean, one of the things he's asked is, how do you increase the, how do you increase people that look like us in our field? I was just mm. telling you, Pascal, how I met Claude. Claude was our right. presenter yeah. last week. Last week's presenter. Yeah. Um, I, I worked with for this company, and again, very, very limited visibility for minorities. And they told me they wanted me to recruit. And I said, okay, you're gonna have me recruit. I'm gonna make sure I find a lot of people that represents me. I mean, mm. as well as other people. So I made it a mission to talk to a lot of the groups on campuses and talk to different uh, black tech groups that I knew to make sure they saw that, hey, here's a company that's hiring data data analysts and data scientists and data engineers. And that's one of the, I ran into, that's how I kind of met Claude. Um, I helped mm -hmm. hired him into our company and, and we're trying to give back just showing more minorities and black people like, hey, you can do this. This is something mm -hmm. you can get into. It's not hard, it's not, it's not too difficult. 
we there's people that's gonna guide you i will say when it comes to being a minority in this field everyone like us is extremely helpful all my mentors i've met they're no matter if i leave and go to another company they're always going to help you and try to help you move forward because of the message we're trying to send. Absolutely. So it's, it's really, it's a tight community and people help one another mm -hmm. to advance. Alors, c'est ça qu'on dit, c'est Gina qui va être Claude on drum. C'est ça qu'on dit. Mais c'est que, c'est que, absolument, si vous parlez de tech, deuxième épisode seulement, oui, mesdames et messieurs. Ah, oui. Non, mais c'est amazing. C'est vraiment, ce sont des communautés liées et il faut que nous supportions une autre. Et c'est main dans la main, mais en pile chat et palou, et l'union fait la force. C'est ça. C'est ça, ici. Exactly. That's really, that's fantastic. Et pour les jeunes qui réfléchissent sur peut-être, ah, peut-être nous avons ouvert un pot pour peut-être moins si mais c'est étudier et sciences données pour mal faire un cœur dans les sciences données. Fell, fell, c'est ça. Donc, il ne faut pas peur d'essayer de mettre les autres dans la piscine. Ça n'a pas ça parce que il y a des opportunités là-dedans, mais il faut aller étudier, il faut chercher et il ne faut pas peur chercher non plus parce que c'est seulement chercher que vous avez besoin de sauver. Donc, so, j'ai trouvé une autre question qui a dit Qu'est-ce que le plus grand challenge besides being a minority Le plus grand challenge, honnêtement, est de comprendre les data. Um, I've had a lot of jobs, you know, I started my, com my career working in mach like cars, machine data. Mm -hmm. Then I got into working in uh, transportation or supply chain data. And now I'm finance. I have no degree in finance. I don't know nothing about finance. And I'm building systems for financial, the finance team. That's that, crazy. Yeah, that's the biggest challenge and is making sure you actually understand the data, but that's that's the best thing about it, right? You can your your skills are transferable. So mm. I can I can do finance today and go work at a law office and help build their system tomorrow. And I don't have I don't understand law, you know what I mean? I hope that that's, makes yeah. that, that makes perfect sense. Eh? Avec, avec tout outil et, et connaissance que vous avez dans la gestion de données, vous n'avez pas besoin d'un expert dans, dans la loi pour travailler avec un cabinet. Vous n'avez pas besoin d'un expert dans la finance pour travailler et, et avec un conseil de comptable. So that's, that, that's actually, that's, that's a good point. And having those general data skills, you can mm -hmm. work pretty much anywhere. anywhere. I mean, you could even potentially work with NASA and yeah. build pockets. You could, <laughs> you could. <laughs> as long as you understand the data and how data flows and how the data process. I mean, every, everything is information. Every company has information. Right. I, you work at a hospital, someone needs to understand how many people are going into hospital, how many rooms are in the hospital, you know, how much money is the hospital making? How much money does the hospital need to support? You go to a school, we need to know how many students are coming into a school. How many teachers do we need? How many classes do we need? You know, like mm -hmm. everything is information. So once mm -hmm. you can learn how to process that information, you can use the skill anywhere. Right. Wow. So ça veut dire que pour si ou gain tentation pour venir rentrer dans carrière science données ou ka travail dans n'importe qui domaine que ce soit dans santé que ce soit dans agriculture que ce soit dans ingénierie que ce soit dans finance koto vle a ou ap jwenn an pot ki pral ouvert pou ou parce que donné c'est dans toute institution liée tout moun gen pou gérer donné yo that's awesome so yeah. as we were starting to answer some of these audience questions let's, let's let me look up um these Q and A's, because it does seem like that there are a few of them. I was going to wait a little bit longer, but as there are a few in here, I want to make sure that we touch the audience questions as well. Um, we have Augustin Claude uh, who asked, "Qui gens nous a utilisé data pour nous diminuer insécurité dans zone? Par exemple, qui information va mettre nos rapports interactif? So I guess to to reduce insecurity in an area, how can we use uh, data science. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> of course, Claude is going to ask that question. <laughs> okay, to reduce insecurities in your data. 
much more space. Okay, to reduce insecurities in your data, you can use systems like the ETL stuff that we're talking about. Um, when I think of data security, I think of making sure your data is clean, making sure it's cleansed, and making sure you can trust it 100%. This is where you go through the, the data engineering aspect, looking at some of the tools like Microsoft SQL or integration studios, like um, different ETL tools to make sure Maybe I answered it wrong. Safety in the city. Vous pouvez répéter la question, please? Safety in the city. Alors, non, zone. Nous avons parlé de, de zone. Est-ce que vous avez parlé de non zone physique ou bien non zone analyse de nous? Yeah. I think safety in the city is okay. So, actual physical insecurity. Like, how would that, uh, I think what he's asking is, how would the uh, okay, process okay, 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 okay. Okay. doing a data science? project okay yeah. yeah so uh how do we use data science to improve security understanding um one of the things here i know we're dealing with with the u.s is understanding city patrols uh security mm -hmm. within uh, police officers understanding how many we have looking at the stats of how much uh looking at the stats of your city to understand how much crime is actually placed and different types of crime is in the system. I think the biggest thing is identifying, like I said, going back to identifying key points of your, um, your data, understanding the main problems that you have in your city and understand different ways you can utilize some of the tools that you have to work towards that. Mm, alors, ça veut dire que faut que nous toutes nous connaissons. Si nous voulons utiliser données pour diminuer la sécurité dans la zone, faut que nous gagnions différents types de données sous statistiques, combien de policiers, combien de forces de l'ordre qui gagnent dans la zone par rapport à la population, qui type de crime qui existait, pour qui ça crime là, c'est vraiment une statistique ça est primordial dans analyse la yeah. sécurité. Mm, ok, so I'll select this one as answered. Okay. All right. Um, next question is by Ezekiel Lundi. Est-ce que nous avons l'idée d'implanter en Haïti? Qui processus pour participer dans l'activité si là? Implanting data science in Haiti. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. What, we were, we were uh, just what, talking what about that. Thinking? Yeah we, were, yeah, we were literally just talking about that. Implanting data. The biggest thing is making sure you have a source to find the information. And I think that's mm -hmm. the hardest thing is trying to find that source that has the information there for us to use. It's difficult, but it's mm -hmm. something that the, the country needs. It really is. It really, really is. Yes. So, fuck no. Ou bien, si nous va join information, ça c'est pour une étape non. Si nous pas capable de fuck nous créer, somebody has to put in these, these this yeah. data into these uh, SQL databases, into these Excel's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I will, uh, I will answer this live. Okay, Rudolf Jean. I know you are early in your career, but you should look at your situation as an opportunity and a challenge. Maybe this was a comment to someone else on the comment section. You can work to increase the numbers. Oh, okay, this is yeah. about black women in the field. Yeah. Okay, you can work to increase the numbers of black women in your field. You can also go back to your alma mater, high school or college to encourage other black yeah. females to continue. That's where, that's where I was saying that, um, that's how I met Claude. I went back to the school mm -hmm. to do a presentation mm -hmm. about bringing in more people within um, data, the, the data field. And I was helping with recruiting and that's how I met Claude. The key thing is making sure you are lending a hand back and bringing in more people after you. That's always one of the things I try to do. I try to mentor a lot of kids, a lot of, especially high school and um, college students, because I know when I was in college, like we said, I didn't even know what this was, you know? <laughs> So just making sure you let people know like there you can you can do very good work here and you can you can make very good money in this field and it's just really confidence and learning uh, just having the mentorship to learn about it. Absolutely. Yes, that mentorship is I think one of the most important parts I agree. And then we have uh, Morgan the co-founder of IT Analytics. What is your favorite kind or type of data to work with for example log data geospatial data or economic data mm, my favorite so far okay this is an example i th i could talk about it <laughs> so i worked in the u.s we have a, a, a vehicle companies where a lot of their engines were breaking and mm -hmm. um, i built a system that pretty much identified 
every single part that this company was putting in their vehicles. So the cool thing about this is I can tell you exactly how much a vehicle, a vehicle costs. I can tell how much it costs to build it. And if something broke, I can tell you exactly where in the car it broke and the best way for me to replace it for the cheapest amount of money. That's my favorite data because it's raw and you can learn so many things from raw data. I got to meet the CEO of this company because of it. I thought it was a great opportunity. That's my favorite, favorite type of data to use is when you're working directly with raw data that hasn't been changed. That's when you learn the most information. So you were, you were working with finding out how to lower the cost, if I, if I understand that right? No, I was lo- tr- we wanted to figure out how much it costs to make a vehicle. That's, okay. That was the job. That was it. Build a system uh-huh. that tells us how much it costs to build a vehicle. And then at the same time, the company started having problems because the cars were not working. Mm. And the only Whoa. project they could use to identify what part was broken was mine because I have all of the data of how much, all the different parts in the company. So that was oh. pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. Alors, see, projet que tu travailles, que tu crées, qui te, que ça ne peut faire comme projet, dans quand il y a lui, c'est travail avec on, on, on fabrication machine, on usine de fabrication machine, côté que il a travaillé avec donner bouillon pour déterminer combien cob la coûter entreprise ça pour fabriquer en machine et les compagnies étaient commencé un problème ils viennent directement vivre beaucoup de Gina parce que c'est l'équipe qui a tout donné c'est l'équipe qui a toute information et ça c'est très tel, tellement intéressant parce qu'ils disent comme ça que travail avec donner bouillon ça y est pour pour joindre qui genre pour créer en machine avec qui coûte quel bral et quel bral y est pour compagnie c'est très intéressant yeah. Uh, we got a question here from Joannes Mercius. Um, he saying, "Merci à intervenant yo. Est-ce que l'important pour analyse donner ces nécessités pour qu'on on paquet de langage programmation mm-hmm. ou bien sortir by dans commencement yo Python, SQL, R, on moun ka juste contacter yo de ça. Contenter yo de ça. So is Python and SQL and R just enough or with a data scientist need more than that? Honestly, SQL and Python is enough. A data scientist, a data scientist is different because data scientist is more statistics and math. That's mm. R. You don't really need to know R unless you're going to go towards the statistic route. But to get in your, your foot in the door, SQL and Python are pretty much the big ones that you need to uh, just understand it. I wouldn't even say you have to code it all the way, just a good understanding of it. Alors, t'as des gens à ces SQL avec Python, ces deux prog- et, et langage programmation pour commencer en carrière. Vous parlez de qu'on effectivement qu'on l'autre, spécialement sur le de la science donnée. Oui, la très utile. Cependant, pour commencer en carrière là-dedans, Python, SQL. Okay. Uh, we got another another question here um, about the lack of information, the lack of data here. Mm-hmm. So this is from Dalou André Sol. Merci parce que vous choisissez de partager l'expérience avec nous. So mm-hmm. want to say thank you. First question, moi, c'est qui Jean qui a expliqué l'indisponibilité de données en Haïti par rapport à l'expérience? What can you say about why there might be a lack of information to use, a lack of data? to allow us to start doing our data science careers. This is exactly what we were talking about, Pascal. It's just, honestly, the best way of saying it is who holds the data. Mm -mm. So, Uh, so (laughs) yeah, who holds the data? It's just, it's difficult. Sometimes it's difficult to find it, but you have to go go on Google. You can go on uh, Bing. Just look on the internet and try to find other ways you can obtain that information. Yes, absolutely. Alors, Dalou, André Sol, c'est, c'est pas en question de, et comme moi que Rudolf Jean te font intervention sur le chat là, c'est pas que données yo pas disponible, non? C'est que moun qui gè données yo pas vle mette données sa yo disponible à tout le monde. Uh, so there are people collecting data. Gang people mon gap collect the data. Mda ko avec we dot la. C'est que fuck nous essayer joindre on gens pour joindre information ça et si nous pas ka joindre ni fuck nous créer. 
Uh, right. Okay, it doesn't seem like there are any more questions. Oh, okay, yes, there's some more here. Sebastien is asking, what's the largest amount of data you've dealt with and how ah. do you change the strategy as data is increasing? Oh, very good question. Oh man, I'm actually dealing with one right now. We have, um, I'm, I'm rebuilding a system that sends financial data to the United States government. And it looks at the comp everything the company spent money on. So it's billions and billions and billions of rows. Uh, <laughs> it's a headache. Billions. Yeah, billions. billions. Yeah, Whoa. because when you send information, when you start working with financial data for the US government, they are very, very particular about how the information gets sent over. So it's just, it's a lot of information to process. I think right now is the, the one I could say it's billions of rows, billions of rows. So I think and what about the, the aspect of the strategy? How do you, how do you go about as your data increases in volume? How do you go about managing that? Parse it out, parse the information wow. out into pieces. Uh, I build, I work a lot with SQL. Um, I build a lot of SQL architecture. So there's different things you can use in SQL systems to parse your information, break it up into smaller pieces, and just look mm -hmm. at stuff as a, as a small segments versus looking at everything as a whole. Because it's going to be overwhelming if you look at all that information at once. So just mm -hmm. break, out the, break it out into segments, and that's the best way I've been doing it. Alors, peut-être, c'est, bon, pour Gina, travaille sur des projets qui gagnent des milliards, pas même millions, non? des milliards de données, de lignes de données. Et alors, des, des stratégies qu'on qu a employées pour travailler tout le de données, c'est pour créer des, des sous-systèmes et dans SQL pour être capable de gérer, et non pas tout ensemble de milliards de données, mais de préférence et couper l'entier morceau. Et ça va nous permettre de travailler plus bien avec et, et de gros bases de données. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. Um, Mackenzie Fizeme asking, what's your thoughts on big data and business analytics? So I guess you just touched on the big data aspect of it, but then the, the, the business analytics aspect of big data. Maybe if I can, if I can also add to that question, because I, I, mm -hmm. I do appreciate this question, is that I've been reading some articles about how big data analytics is very ambiguous. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, because <laughs> so much information yeah. that like, it's, it actually gets the more information and harder to manage. So yeah. if you could touch on that part, aspect as well. Yeah, big data is just an, a word people like to say, like big data, everything is big data. So you're not gonna work in a system that has a little bit of information. It's, your big data is about processing f large information's facts. So mm -hmm. um, the question he earlier about what's my thoughts on business analytics uh, 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 is it business analytics or business analysis business analytics is what he wrote okay so one of the things i will say is that um when it comes to working with uh business business analytics as a whole uh i think i have to go back to what i was saying what i was showing the circle learning about the collecting your information, learning about how to clean the data. When it comes to big data, everything is big. The biggest thing about it is just learning how to get a lot of companies, they want you to finish it really fast. An example that I have right now, I started my current job. We had a system that was going through millions of rows of data. The way that whoever built it before, it took an hour and a half for it to run. I came in and updated the system, it takes two minutes. Wow. Data is understanding how to make your data efficient, clean it, and make it present it at a quick pace. And I think it's just, it's such a, it's, it's arbitrary. I don't know how to say the word. It's just, it's just a word people like to say. <laughs> Big data. Yeah. <laughs> mm, interesting. I, I'd agree, yeah. Because it's yeah. Big, so much in there. Um, I know that... I know that we're running a little, we're yes. coming up to the Sebastian, end of... Sebastian said it's a buzzword. It is. It's a buzzword. It's the same thing with data science. It's the same thing. It's, they're very much buzzwords. Data science is very interesting because it's a new area. I've, you know, there's so much pieces in data science because it looks at the science of it all. But 
I don't know if anyone really truly knows what data science is. It's just, it's everything's a buzzword right now. It's just, yeah. You're right. It's just a hot topic that people yeah. want to jump and say that they, they, yeah. they use, or I'm doing big data. That's important. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I guess I, I, one thing that um, I do want to mention is that like IT analytics is here to help all of you. Nous tout qui ap suiv et Palitech show ça. IT analytics nous là pour aider nous pour tout monde qui intéressé l'entrée dans domaine analyse données. Nous là pour d'ailleurs c'est job nous pour aider nous et pour et parce que nous avons plusieurs programmes nous avons bootcamp que nous avons gain plusieurs gradués là dedans. Nous travaillons sur plusieurs différents programmes en ligne tout. Bientôt nous avons commencé à voir programmes en ligne et parce que bon nous connaît Covid qui a ban nous et quelques petits problèmes pour venir contrer physiquement mais n'a besoin des gens n'a besoin de gens pour, pour nous combattre Covid dans tout pour nous continuer à faire beaucoup campio alors et that's a little teaser that we will we will working <laughs> we're working yeah uh, but also i guess there there might also be some um, some business owners some small business owners or maybe even medium or large I, i'm not sure who are a, a, what kind of businesses our audience is is working in or running but for someone running a small to medium business what kind of advice would you give to them um in terms of if they haven't started managing their data how would you suggest that they make their first steps small medium data uh one things i i, I kind of feel I, I didn't add was the importance of excel for small businesses a lot of the companies that i mentioned I've worked with large companies, right, where they have the money to afford these big tools. But sometimes right. the free ones, Excel, Google Sheets, yes. start collecting your information. They are just as powerful as some of the others. I mean, it might yeah. take you a little bit more time to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, but no, for, for small companies, Excel is a very powerful tool, right? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. And then Microsoft, I think, is doing a great job with building out this Power BI suite because it talks directly mm -hmm. to Excel. So mm -hmm. I think that's one thing is just start collecting your information, you know, collect as much as you can because you, you really won't know much. I have another interesting example of something else um, I worked on. I did this during my master's degree. Excuse mm -hmm. me. And I actually did it uh, with, um, with the organization in Haiti. Uh, we're trying to figure out diseases, how much diseases affect people. We're looking at population data. So mm -hmm. understanding how big is the total population. I want to say it was with, um, um, gosh, I forgot, the, I forgot the thing. It was in North Haiti. Uh, I don't know. It was, <laughs> I forgot the disease name. But mm -hmm. we're looking at the population of people. And this, we did everything on Excel, collecting all the information, looking online to figure out how much people lived in the area, how many people got affected, how many didn't. And this has, again, this is, this is medical stuff. I didn't know anything about medical and epidemiology, but mm -hmm. it's just sometimes the most powerful tools are the small ones. If you're a small and medium company, Excel is a good way to go and collect that information that you need. Nice. That's awesome. I'm glad you said that because we're also working on an Excel. Oh, yeah. Cholera. Oh, cholera. That's what it was oh, called. Oh, cholera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really annoyed. Sorry. Cholera. Bon, cholera caused some big yeah. trouble um, both before and after the earthquake as well. So mm -hmm. this, I, if there's still cholera around the country today, that's... Uh, it means that it came here and wow, yeah. some people are still suffering. But that's, exactly. that's the more but projects that we can do to solve these problems, the, the faster we can get One of the there. things Claude just said is open source. Yeah, open source is good too. But he said small companies, Claude, like small, medium companies, open source are great to use. But if you're going to need something that's quick and easy and free, Excel is a great tool everyone already has. I don't agree with Claude about the Excel thing. <laughs> yeah, neither, neither do I. Excel is great for small businesses. Yeah. <laughs> but we still love you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, we're running up to the end of our show here. It is 
Um, uh, you know, there's a funny thing. Someone just said, people adore data science but forget statistician. That's exactly what I was saying. Data science, statisticians, the, the stats and the statistics, that's what people have to remember. Yeah. I guess with, with stats, if, if you're a statistician, Pumunki statist, wow, that's a tongue twist in Korea. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Depu apre no ti piton, ou bon net, oui? Ou ka travay no net pot ki peyi du mon, ajoute statistik avek piton, data scientist, right then and there. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess there, there's only one more question, which uh as long as you're okay with answering this last question from sebastian okay no uh, problem we'll close up we'll close up with this one is how do you deal being between software engineers and data scientists if you've encountered that in your career i think the thing we have to remember is when it comes to these fields we even though we're all working in technology we're all working on different things right Data science specifically are usually the researchers. They work with this. Again, when I think of data scientists, I think of statisticians. That's the best. That's how I think of them. It's just statisticians who know how to code. Code. Uh, software engineers don't necessarily have the skills that a statistician have. When I do data engineering, I solely work on systems and architecture. But software engineers don't do systems, or data engineer or data scientists don't necessarily build systems. Everyone kind of has their piece of the puzzle. And that's why I showed that ring. Every point of the ring, you need everybody to help to build the full system or to build, to, to understand data analytics as a whole. If you don't mm -hmm. have everybody putting their parts in it, it's just going to be difficult to understand. Alors, question, c'était par Sébastien, c'est comment est-ce que vous gérez une situation côté que vous travaillez avec ni un programmateur, ni un scientifique de données? Euh, réponse c'est vraiment que chaque monde a joué wall pal yeah, et que exactly. dans, dans le processus là c'est pour ça que tu montres les cercles là avec différents processus collection triage etc analyse validation chaque monde gagne wall yo et on monde pas qu'à remplir wall on l'autre monde parce que connaissances sont différents on monde qui crée système c'est pas monde qui fait statistique monde qui fait spa, statistique c'est pas les programmer un programme chaque monde gagne wall par yo il faut que nous travaillons ensemble et yeah yeah exactly perfect so that is nous te joine très belle question thank you so so much Gina for being on the second episode of thank you. Polytech it was really a great pleasure to have this conversation and to to learn from your presentation as well yeah. Thank you. I, I, I really enjoyed it. I love helping out people and I love trying to mentor other people and really showing people a different face of data and analytics and just IT as a whole. We, need, we really need to build up the representation. So anything I can do to help. Thank you for having me.